Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Josh from TOC Supplies here, and today in this video, it's gonna be all about how to properly detail and clean your interior carpet. Now, you're gonna have scenarios where it's not so bad, you're gonna have scenarios where it is really, really bad. We're gonna be using the PNS Double Black brand using their three carpet system with Terminator, Carpet Bomber, and Finisher. Now, Terminator is gonna be the enzyme cleaner that'll break down all the proteins and all the stains that are hard to get. Carpet Bomber is gonna be the emulsifier and cleaner to trap all the dirt, grime, and all that nasty gunk. And uh, Finisher is basically a peroxide-based uh, cleaner that's gonna eliminate all the detergents that are still stuck on the fiber, and it's also gonna eliminate odor. So, let's start by vacuuming these carpets first before we get into the, car, uh, into the product. So in this case, with a carpet like this that is not too bad, we're not gonna utilize an extractor. If anything, we're just gonna use one product, a few microfiber towels, a handy dandy brush, and the shop vac. So that one product is just gonna be Carpet Bomber. We're gonna spray it all over the carpet here, agitate with a brush, wipe it down with a microfiber towel, and try and suck up all the remaining detergent with the shop vac. So let's begin spraying. So as you saw, I really didn't oversaturate the carpet because like I said, it wasn't too bad. I did add a few extra spritz though on a few couple stains that I saw here and it did amazing. Basically what Carpet Bomber just did was that it cleaned and it emulsified all the dirt and grime. Time to wipe it down with a microfiber towel and suck up the rest of the detergent and all of the rest of the remaining grime with the shot vac. So let's do this. What we have here is the handy dandy Rag Company all-purpose terry towel. All right, so let's start wiping it down. Make sure you get those edges so the edges are nice and dry. Flip your towel if you have to, to a dry side. If your table's shaking a little bit, that's fine. It's going with you.
All right, so now it's time to use the shop vac again, just so we can suck up the rest of the uh, detergent and also the rest of the dirt and the grime that are stuck between the fibers. So let's fire this up. So there you have it, like brand new. And if you wanna throw in a little extra for your clients or for just yourself, you can add some pattern lines as well. So check this out. Start from the bottom with your brush and just move it up. I'm gonna start right here again and move it up. You can put a small one right there. Maybe another one right here. And last line, follow the line. Boom. All right, scenario number two. You've got really, really bad carpets and you wanna know how to detail them. Well, here's how to do it. We're gonna use three of the products, Terminator to break down all the stains, Carpet Bomber to clean and emulsify all the dirt and grime, and the stains as well. Uh, finisher to basically eliminate the remaining detergent because it's uh, because of its ingredient peroxide and to also eliminate odor. We're also going to utilize the <coughs> drill brush to basically get down deep into the fibers. We just got to be careful around this area because there's some damage to the carpet. We'll probably use the soft uh, bristle brush around this area just to brush a little bit, but we will utilize the <coughs> drill brush on most of the carpets. All right, so. Let's start vacuuming and let's do it. So now that we finally vacuumed the carpet and got rid of some of the dirt, cause there's some embedded in there, but we'll get that. Um, we're gonna hit it with Terminator first to break down all the stains that are on this carpet. So let's start spraying a good amount. Don't be afraid to spray around the edges. Perfect. Now, I'm actually gonna work the product in with the soft bristle brush from the detail factory. We're just gonna, you know, make sure it's all up in there. If all up in there is the word.
All right, so let's just let that sit for a little bit. We're gonna prep the extractor, surprise. We're gonna be using an extractor. Now that we have allowed Terminator to basically cure and sit on the carpet while it breaks down the protein, we're actually gonna start sp uh, spraying some carpet bomber on the carpet so we can start cleaning and getting rid of all the dirt that's embedded in between the fibers. And uh, yeah, let's get spraying. Make sure we're on on. Just before we continue, I am gonna saturate this carpet like crazy because it's pretty, pretty bad. So let's get right to it. Brace them on the drill brush. And let's get right to it. For the damaged area, we're gonna use the soft bristle brush because I don't wanna go too aggressive where it's already damaged, I might make it worse. So let's use the soft bristle brush here. for extra good measure, but we're not gonna saturate it too much. We're just gonna lightly mist it. And let's go over it one more time. So now that we've hit it with carpet bomber and we've agitated with a drill brush, we're gonna start using our Bissell Spot Clean Pro extractor. Now, most of the uh, most of our viewers here, they're not gonna about they're not about to go grab a mighty, which is by the way way too expensive. So if you're looking for something that's cost effective and that is still very very good, you can definitely get a Bissell Spot Clean Pro. So we're gonna get right down to this. Um, I added a cap, half a cap of ONR in the water reservoir. That way ONR will basically help encapsulate the remaining dirt and all the remaining grime so we can pull it out much easier. Sounds good? All right, let's get right to it. Spray in the air. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> all right.
Now that we're finished extracting this carpet, we're actually gonna hit it with finisher peroxide. That's gonna eliminate all the remaining cleaners and eliminate the odor that is stuck on this carpet. So let's give it a few spritz, make sure that's on. And here we go. We're gonna lightly work it with the uh, brush here. So what we're doing here is we're just distributing the, uh, the product all over the carpet, making, it sh making sure that every surface area is covered with finisher. Boom. Now remember, before you start using the brush you use to clean the carpet, rinse it out first before you use it with finisher, just so you're not reintroduce reintroducing uh, dirt in the carpet. All right. So there you have it. Two different types of scenarios, whether if you have a light to medium nasty carpet, all the way to a heavy one, as you saw the different kind of strategies that we took, the different approach that we went for. We only used Carpet Bomber for this carpet because it wasn't too dirty and agitated it with a bristle brush, dried it up with some of the Rag Company's uh, all-purpose um, terry towels, and hit it with the uh, shot vac. Now for the heavily soiled carpets, you saw that we used the entire three-part system, Terminator, Carpet Bomber, Finisher, and Extractor, and of course, it is looking much better than it was last time. Now, there are gonna be some places that aren't too clean because unfortunately this carpet has been neglected, so some damage has been done already, and the three-part system could only, do an, uh, as so, could only do so much, but it still did a tremendous job. Some of these parts right here are fully clean. Uh, we were able to get some of the dirt off where the damage is, and uh, yeah. Big round of applause to PNS Double Black, Terminator, Heart Bomber, and Finisher. So there you have it, that's how you clean and detail your interior carpet. We use the PNS Double Black Carpet System, Terminator Carpet, Bomber, and Finisher Peroxide on two different type of scenarios. So I'm Josh from TOC Supplies, and I'm signing off. <laughs>